Hi, this is Diane. It is Wednesday, the 15th of July, 2020. And um, I'm back at work now. So this is just like a quick update. I haven't really even got anything much to update about, um, except I did make a decision today that I've got to do more planning on my vision. Um, because there, there was this quote that I read, you cannot work towards a vision you cannot see. And I can sort of see it and it's in my head and so I need to write a few things down. Of course, the van was a big part of my vision, which I now have, which I'm very happy about. Um, insulating it is in September. I've kind of planned out my breaks, which will be about mid-September, um, at which point it will be about 14 days. So I will get it everything done at that point. I'll have the money for it before then. So if I can arrange to get it done before I'm off, that'd be brilliant because then I can just go off on my first adventure in September. Otherwise I'll get it done then and then I'll be off. And then my next one will be around my birthday, the beginning of November, just a week off, just for a break because I would have worked September to November and I work seven days a week and they're like 12, 14 hour days. Um, and then the next one after that will be Christmas. I'm having Christmas off this year from about the end of December uh, to the new year. And then basically I work the new year till March. Now, after March 2021, I should have saved enough money as long as nothing else happens, God willing, to not leave work completely, but to um, not have to spend so much time working. And I can spend more time either on the road or not either, because there's nowhere else to be. If you live in a van, I will spend more time on the road. Um, and that's subject to anything else happening, you know, like maybe I'll win the lottery or something. But otherwise, that's my plan. And then if 2021 is a better year in terms of the virus and a vaccine and things calming down a bit, it means I can start traveling around. So that's kind of the plan, hoping to do something in September. But outside of that, really, it's just work, 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 work until March, because I just don't see it's worth doing anything else. I do want to spend some of the winter months in the van because I think if I can manage in winter, then I can manage at any time of the year because I hate winter with a passion. It's my worst season. I hate being cold. I, I just dislike everything about winter. There's nothing fun apart from maybe Christmas. There's, there's just nothing fun about it. I like sun and heat. So from spring onward, that's definitely my time. Spring to um, probably the end of September. Going in from summer into autumn. Yeah, so that's the plan. And eventually it'll be nice just to work the winters, which I hate, and stay inside and just be off from like March until September. That would be amazing. That was always my plan, I think, 10 years ago, except when I was off, I, I wanted to be abroad. And I'm still looking at abroad, Europe, but I'm going to wait and see what happens with Brexit. I don't know what kind of chaos Brexit is going to cause in terms of those of us in the UK wanting to visit or live there for a few months, stuff like that. I read an article recently where Barbados is thinking about providing um, the opportunity for people to work remotely for a year. So you basically go to Barbados for a year and live there and work remotely for your job. How amazing would that be? Maybe that's the future, working remotely in whichever country you want to be, as long as there's internet access. This pandemic is going to change so much about the way we live and shop and just everything and work. It's just going to make everything so different so very different uh, it will be interesting to see what happens with the high street because they're really suffering right now and you know, there's meant to be a recession coming so there's that about to happen so much going on in the world um, and all I can do is control my little corner of it well if you say control I don't believe in control because you know the universe has its own plans if something's going to come up it's going to come up so let's hope winning the lottery is in my future but in the meantime I'm working seven hours a day to save towards my dream. Um, a lot of the money that I have earned over the last few years, um, I've saved or invested. And, you know, financially, I'm doing a lot better. Back when things were difficult in the last recession, um, I think my outgoings were about £3,000. Now they're more like 200 I, 
I literally have my car insurance and car tax, Netflix, and one of the, oh, I pay some money, extra money into my pension, apart from what I already pay through my wages, through my salary. Um, I pay extra. And that's it. That's all that goes out of my account every month. So, you know, I've worked hard to have that happen. And my phone really is it's SIM only because, you know, I have an older phone. I don't go out buying tons of clothes. I don't have a lot of stuff. I, I've been a minimalist since maybe 2017. I've just downsized all the time. So, you know, all this stuff that adds up and costs money because I haven't been doing it, I've saved money instead. And what I'm hoping longer term is that I do want to buy myself a place to live eventually and settle down. But in the meantime, there's me and my van and the whole of England, Scotland, Wales, Ireland and possibly some of Europe, depending on what happens in Brexit. And um, I just enjoy travelling that. So that's kind of my vision that I can see and I can plan towards. And I'm kind of excited about it. Um, but day to day, it's just work for now. So until another video, I do hope you are well and your family are well. And um, I will see you next time. Bye for now.